Hello team and welcome to today's video in Excel where I'll be sharing with you how to use the sequence function to create dynamic row sequences within your Excel spreadsheets. This way, if you delete or add a row, for example, I can add row seven, you'll see that dynamic row sequence automatically is input. Let's jump in. Let's start off with the basic sequence function. After inputting the formula, you'll see the only required argument is the number of rows. So if I have a set number of rows I know I'm sticking to, in this example, I can enter 50 and press enter. You'll see those row numbers have been created. And this is dynamic so that if I were to delete row number two, which is row number three in Excel, you'll see it is automatically replaced with a new row number two. Now let's take a look at how to create a dynamic row sequence for a given column. In this example, it'll be my project column B. We'll start again by entering the sequence function, but instead of manually entering the number of rows, we'll use the count a function, which counts the number of cells with text included. For the value of the count a function, I'll highlight the entire column B, close parentheses. And now I do need to enter a negative one within this function because in column B, we have a column header of the name project. After a final close parentheses, I can click enter and you'll see my row numbers align correctly. Now, if I delete the example project, you'll see the row number is also deleted. Now let's take a look at how to add text in front of the sequence function while still keeping those dynamic rows. Looking at the sequence function right in front of the equal sign, we'll enter and open quotations and the word project with a space following. Close quotations and now add the ampersand symbol to connect that to the sequence and count a functions. After pressing enter, you'll see my sequence function has been updated to include the word project in front of it. And again, if I add that example project back in, you'll see my spreadsheet is again dynamically updated. Finally, let's take a look at how to create a date sequence using the sequence function. We'll start by entering in that same function. For the rows, we'll again use the count a formula and the value will be the same column as before our project column. I'll again enter that negative one to account for the column header. But now let's take a look at the optional arguments within this sequence formula. After a comma, we get to columns and I'll just enter a one here for one column. After another comma, we get to the start argument. Here I'll enter the date as March 10th of 2025 in quotations. After a final comma for the step, I want this to calculate every two weeks. So I'll enter 14 for 14 days. Final close parentheses, and now I can click enter. All that's left to do is to change the formatting on these dates to a date we prefer. And you'll see every two weeks is calculated for us. As a final example, if I delete one of these rows, you'll see again the formula dynamically updates. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.